Hello, starlings. Welcome to my sector of the universe. This is Jess with Capella Wellness here to help you step into your truth and star into your power for those, never, for those of you who have never been here before. Welcome. Thank you so much for being here. You are going to love this reading, I'm sure, regardless. This is for this is to help you on your journey to get to where God needs you to be. Um, for those of you who are returning, thank you so much for coming back for another Light Counterpart Weekly. Um, for those of you who've never been here before, let me uh, mention that this is the Twin Flame journey, but I've been guided to call it the Light Counterpart journey because the whole Twin Flame thing has been blown out of proportion. So I follow what my guys tell me to do, and that means that I'm only attracting the people who were mainly going to be very serious about this um, journey and not romanticizing the crap out of it, okay? So in case if you're new and you don't know why, if you've been led here and you don't know why it's like counterpart, this is, this, it's the same type of journey, but the label is different. We really shouldn't be labeling this anyway. This is a divinely guided thing. This is for some incredibly enormous spiritual growth. Anyway, for those of my subscribers, thank you so much for your love, your loyalty and support. I love all of you, I love all of you regardless, but for those of you who continue to watch my videos, to comment, th those who comment, um, those who are supporting me, I cannot be any more thankful um, for you with this channel. Um, I truly, I, tr I can't talk today. I truly, truly appreciate your love and support. Um, one quick thing, um, if you would like to join my Light Counterpart community, it's in my mobile app. You get to meet your soul tribe, connect with others who are going through this journey. We all support each other. I give additional readings there from the masculines, additional spirit guidance. I am going to start doing dailies, um, daily guidance, like a card of the day type of thing. That's what they've been telling me to do. I'm just trying to fit that in there with everything else that I have to do, especially with school starting this week. Um, um, but I'm there for your support and the other people who are part of that community are there for your support too. Um, if you would like to join that community, I highly recommend you signing up for my website at capellawellness.com or just go check on the there's a link in the description box below to join that. You'll get an email with a private link to my private mobile app and you will be able to get access to everything that I put on my mobile app, including some other perks there too. Um, yeah, so if you've never been here before, what I do in these readings is we see what the masculines are doing, what they need to focus on, what the feminines are doing, what they need to focus on, um, clarification of the energies if I'm guided to do so. I also pull cards to get guidance for, I ask spirit for guidance for the masculines, for the feminines, and for the connection overall. I'm also pulling a moonology card to see what is coming to your connection with the new moon in Virgo, which occurs on September 7th, if I'm not mistaken. And they also wanted me to pull a lover's oracle card for additional messages. Okay, so we're going to go into this. I am no longer doing the mermaid theme if you've been here before because summer is almost over and they wanted me to switch up the decks. Anyway, I believe my mermaid oracle deck, it's been tapped out. Um, even though I clear it all the time, my guides are like, there is a lot of energies in, in this deck and we want you to switch it up. So I changed out of the, I swapped out of the uh, mermaid theme for at least the month of August. September, sorry. This is the second to last day of August. I'm talking about September that I'm changing it up. Anyway, I'll stop talking, but who cares? Um, we're going to see what is going on with the masculines right now. Spirit guides, angels, galactic family, Palladian, Syrians, please reveal to us for our highest good what is going on with the divine masculines at this time. Please and thank you. Please keep in mind the time is fluid. I'm doing this for a collective. This is not a personal reading. If you feel that your masculine isn't in this place energetically, then this story is not for you. At least this reading does not apply to you at this time. Please use discernment. Holy cow. And please, <laughs> you know, be honest with yourself. Okay. 
That's what a personal reading is for. We have the Four of Wands and the Ace of Swords. For what is going on right now with the Masculines? Okay, I'm getting so many things. Oh, sometimes I wish these readings were shorter, but my guides are like, no, Jess, you have to relay the messages that we tell you. Anyway, I'm getting a few things here. And again, it, it depends whether you know this is going on or not. Um, these are the energies that I'm picking up on. And again, this is a general reading. So take what resonates, discard the rest. The first thing I just got with this, there's some legal thing going on with the masculines with regards to family. Okay. That's the, one of the first things I picked up on this. All right. Um, there's something with a document, a contract. It could be a divorce decree, could be something with child support because we'll look what's at the bottom of the deck. We have four pentacles. Pentacles is about money, all right? This is about, um, value, but what I'm getting from this is right now, some of the masculines, remember this is a general reading, some of the masculines are dealing, I carry child support. Again, something with they're trying to hold on to their money because the father of their child or children is trying to clean them out. That's what I just heard. Again, this is general. If you guys don't think that your masculine has a wife, an ex-wife or kids, I don't know. Sometimes this comes out of the woodwork and there's stuff going on behind the scenes you don't know about, right? I think I've talked about this in other readings, like with the, um, the high priestess card right? There are secrets. There's something here. Something's going on here, but some of the masculines are dealing with something with family um, and something that's legal because we have swords here. And usually the ace of swords talks about truth, insight, and awareness, clarity, right? A breakthrough. But even then, this is the sword of truth and the king of swords. I see the king of swords and the queen of swords. And the king of swords usually deals with legal matters or even justice, right? Um, that's what I'm getting from this. There's like some contract, some document that's being signed that needs to be signed. Um, whether this is happening now, I did ask if what's going on with them right now. But again, time is fluid. It could already happen. It could be happening in the future. It all depends. But I'm getting a sense here that the masculines are trying to, to hold on to their money. There's something about, again, with the child support, some legal matter going on. Um, maybe some of them are, uh, filing for divorce or somebody's filing for divorce here. And there is at least one child involved. We have a family here and the four of wands doesn't always show children in it. I guess there's a reason why they had me pick this deck. Okay. Because now there's something that's coming out here that the masculines are, are undergoing right now. And again, this is for some. All right, there's something here with a legal matter with regards to divorce, child support, whatever this is, okay? Now, for others, this is dealing with gaining insight and awareness as to what this connection is. Because they do say that the Four of Wands is the 1111 card, the Twin Flame card, I like to stay away from that. And while, yes, it's symbolic of that, there's a higher purpose with this because the Four of Wands to me means achievement. You completed a journey. You went through the Ace, the Two of Wands, the Three of Wands, the Three of Wands, right? That long journey, making long-term plans, making forward progress, not resting on your laurels. Something has been achieved here. Something has been completed. There's like great success. They're celebrating a success here. Um, it could even be celebrating success with maybe um, getting the divorce finalized or uh, something with a successful completion of some document with the child support. I don't know. That's what's coming in for some of the masculines here. But this is also a successful completion of, of continuing on on their journey. And as they went through their journey, They've gained the clarity. 
they're gaining, they have an epiphany. They're having an aha moment as to what this connection is. As to what the meaning of life is. They're celebrating life because Four of Wands also talks about celebration. It's a time for them to celebrate because they're starting to follow their path of truth. They're understanding what their truth is. It, they've broken through the veil. The Ace of Swords is also talking about breaking through the veil, moving to a higher level of consciousness. And with all these astrological transits, with the two full moons in Aquarius, with the new moon in Leo, the Lion's Gate, um, all the planets going into retrograde, things are changing for a lot of people. And for a lot of these masculines, they are breaking through that veil and again, expanding to a higher level of consciousness. A lot of people in the past month to two months have jumped to higher timelines, okay? Especially in the like counterpart collective. So a lot of them are starting to realize, oh my God, you know, I understand now what this connection is about. And it's really about my journey to find the meaning of life and to celebrate life. And this is also vitality. This is also great healing. This is also understanding that um, you can have a happy home, a happy marriage, a happy family. It is possible. There's something on the lines here with, with believing in the impossible and, and seeing what is really what brings true happiness what brings true accomplishment, true joy. And with the four of pentacles at the bottom of the deck here, understanding what is of true value to them, that's what they're having epiphanies about. Family. A harmonious, stable, secure family. A happy home. It's not about the 3D stuff. It's not about just having random girlfriends or boyfriends or just going out and partying all the time or you know I'm seeing seven of cups with all the distractions of the 3d world even the devil with getting caught up in the mundane of the world and being materially attached to things understanding that a harmonious connection with somebody of a spiritual nature because wands is about are about spirituality too and creativity being able to create this family that we don't normally see all the time these days right it's not just like being happy or thinking that oh you know look at that family they're all happy and stuff but do we really understand or really know what's going on behind the scenes are we clear on what this type of spiritually guided, harmonious home, family, marriage is. A lot of us don't really see that. We think that other people are in these happy, healthy marriages, homes, families. But that's what the masculines are starting to gain clarity on. And they're starting to understand what is true value, that they do value this type of energy. And it's tying God into this because again, with the wands here with spirituality, the aces of wands for me, they, it's the light of God. It's that spark. It's that light force that we get only from God that builds our vitality. It gives us that strength. It gives us the courage and ambition to move forward and to burn away any challenges, any conflicts that come our way in life. And there, this is, um, you know, holding on to their truth, holding on to this dream that they have because they want this. They're now realizing that they want this. That's the aha moment. That's the clarity they are gaining right now. Wow, this is really, really awesome. They're also not letting go of hope, of faith. I'm seeing the star card. And this is also talking about material attachment. Bad habits, especially with spending money on the wrong things. Spending money on things that don't really 
uh, bring them happiness that don't fulfill them. I was talking about material attachment, right? Materialism is no longer a thing for them. Four of Wands is. And here are two fours, right? Four, four. That is an angelic number. That means that the aid, they're starting to strongly be connected to the angelic realm. And because of that, they've been gaining insight and awareness into what is of value to them. And the angels have been helping them to give them clarity. Hey, masculines, you don't want to be caught up in money, material things. You really want this. And I'm pretty sure that a lot of the masculines here, they never really had a happy home. And for those who were married before, it was an unhealthy marriage, an unhappy marriage. And this is what was blocking them because they thought, oh, well, there's no happily ever after. It doesn't exist. Four of Wands does not exist. But they're starting to see it now. They're starting to see clearly now. Oh my gosh, that is fantastic. Wow. I love that. All right. What is it that the masculines need to focus on? Spirit guides, angels, galactic family, Pleiadian Syrians. Please reveal to us for our highest good. What are the masculines focus? What do they need to focus on for this week? Thank you. Oh, I also heard for those of you who don't really know what's going on with your masculines. And yes, some of them are dealing with a legal matter with regards to children and their family. This is why, if you, especially if you're not hearing from them, all right, and, and Ace of Wands is, Ace of Wands, Ace of Swords does talk about communication. If you're wondering about this, feminines, it's because they're dealing with stuff they don't want you to get involved in. They need to take care of this legal matter of, of clearing this whole you know, what they saw was a broken family, especially when a child is involved. For those of you feminines who get caught up on, you know, not hearing from your masculines, you have to be respectful of the fact that some of them are dealing with stuff that they need to clear. You don't want them in the middle of this legal battle and trying to have some sort of life with you, right? That defeats the purpose. How is that going to be harmonious? When you have third party situations interfering with your divine connection, God does not want and want any interference, no lower vibrational stuff. And this with the legal matters and there's stress involved in this. Okay. There is a lot that needs to be done. This needs to be clear. This is part of the karmic contract that needs to be cleared. Okay. We all have karmic contracts that we need to clear before we can complete our soul contracts with our counterparts. So for those of you who don't know that, you know, that's why God doesn't want you to, to know everything that's going on other than what I'm telling you here, because you get caught up in that. And that interferes with your vibration. That lowers your vibration. You are a divine counterpart. You need to maintain a high level vibration where you are um, emanating that unconditional love frequency, which is tied to the violet flame at all times. Okay, so that is a big message to the feminines to make sure that they understand that um, the masculines go through stuff that you know nothing about. It's a challenge. Swords are about challenges, conflicts, okay? It's a challenge that they have to complete on their own. Otherwise, they won't learn their lessons, okay? Swords are about lessons as well. Again, they need to understand that this is a value. But for those who are going through some child support, some legal case with an ex-spouse, with children, you need to be respectful of that. You do not need to come and save them. You do not need to give them support. God is giving them the support that they need. They need to build that strength, that, that strong bond with God. This is what's part of why you are in separation. Because you are preparing for union. You're preparing for the joint mission. And you have to be completely solid and, and have this impenetrable, unwavering faith in God before you can actually fulfill the joint mission. 
And this also ties into the individual mission. We have the Six of Pentacles with what is um, what they need to focus on. This is finding balance in their lives. It's, I'm also seeing Two of Pentacles with their maybe juggling things around, especially with you know this family, this other family that they had, and with children involved. Because I, I, there's no joke, and children. There's a huge emphasis here in this reading right now with some of these masculines again take it how it resonates discard the rest but there is some sort of thing that the masculine has to clear here but again they're also understanding what the true value uh what this connection is bringing to them and they need to have more peace balance and harmony in their life this is also them i'm hearing, hearing balancing their checkbooks that's funny because nobody really balances a checkbook but that's what i heard but this is about you know um, maintaining their finances. This goes along with the four pentacles that we saw at the bottom of the deck. Maybe being more frugal, saving more. This is also understanding value. Valuing this connection, valuing the divine feminine, valuing themselves, valuing even for those of them who were married before, what that uh, unhappy marriage what that broken family was actually trying to get them to see. Okay. This is them also understanding the law of give and take. What they put into the universe, they get back tenfold. So masculines, for those of you who are watching this, this is about you being more generous. Okay, with your money. Okay, now this really makes sense for the masculines here. Masculines, if you are dealing with like a custody battle or child support, because I'm, I'm getting child support again, right? Not giving enough. Um, I will have to say, if you are worried about what the, the, what the decision is that is going to be made legally, if it hasn't been made already with regards to child support, it's going to work out in your favor, but you kind of have to realize that when you're generous to others, God sees that and they give that back to you tenfold. So there is no reason to fear or hold on to your money being afraid of being cleaned out. Okay, because God knows with that. I'm seeing justice card. There has to be fairness between all parties. And God understands the situation that you are in. I'm hearing from my angels, you're not going to be cleaned out if you are resonating with this message. Um, but you do have to understand the law of give and take. And again, with the material attachment, holding on to your money. Remember, a lot of you are starting to find value in what the true meaning of life is. And it's not material things. So what God is trying to get you to focus on for a lot of you is to give more of your time, energy, and money to certain causes, volunteering, tithing, I just heard, if you still go to church or something, or even just, you know, donating to charities for a good cause. Um, they want you to start giving more of that to the earth so that you can see later on down the road what the what major blessings you're going to get with regards to what you give to the universe, to what you give to other people. Even if it's not money, but it's a combination of both. I'm seeing like donations and tithing and charitable work here. Um, this is going to raise your vibration. This is going to help you value more of of life again maybe giving something you know helping families maybe even helping people who have been in a such similar situation as you with you being in a broken home or dealing with a tough marriage see this is now i'm getting into life purpose energy here masculines doing this type of work is going to help you it leads you to what your actual purpose is this is very interesting okay so, but this is also you balancing more of your life, your money, your time, and your energy, not expending too much, not well, not giving too much, and not taking too much, not giving too little, and not taking too little, the type of thing, right? Again, this is more of balancing the scales. 
But for a lot of you, this is more about balancing the scales with regards to your finances. Cause, and especially if you're dealing with some, some uh, custody battle or child support, maybe either you're spending a lot of money legally. Um, some, maybe some of you need to, to ask for help, financial support from others if it's been taxing on you. Uh, something along those lines, but for others, it's really about finding that peace, balance, and harmony with your, again, your time, your energy, and your, um, the money that God blesses you with. This is also you understanding that you didn't give enough in this connection, right? Because with the four of pentacles, some of you maybe were afraid that your feminines were coming after you for money because maybe, and I know a lot of masculines have dealt with uh, ex-spouses who have, who married them just for money, used them for money, or been in other relationships where they were used for money. And, and, though, and feminines don't get triggered by this, but this is something that they had to come to terms with. Again, it's a general reading. It's not for everyone, but for some of them, um, don't get triggered by this feminines because a lot of the masculines have done this to the feminines where they didn't give the time, the energy, the effort into the connection. But that is why God is having them see clearly now about what it is that they were doing and were not doing. So they are now starting to understand that um, and then what was happening with that, that's the universe, the wheel of fortune, kicking them in the ass and saying, okay, masculines, well, you weren't giving back what was being given to you. Now you're not going to get what you were expecting from the universe. That's probably why all these other things were happening to them from a lower vibrational standpoint for them to get clarity, right? The Ace of Swords to understand, oh, now I get it. Now I get it. And especially now for the feminine to kind of like cut that cord with the masculines. And they're saying, well, wait a minute, what happened? I was getting all this love and affection. And maybe some of the feminines were helping their masculines with their financials. I don't know. That's for some, not for all. And then they were like, okay, well, cool. I'm, you know, I'm getting all this stuff, but they didn't make any effort. They didn't put much effort in. And then they lose that. But then they were realizing that they were valuing the wrong thing. They were valuing the devil. They were valuing the 3D world. Some of them were too valuing too much about their money. Okay. Materialism again. And now they're understanding that 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 was that continued to backfire on them and they were continuing to either have financial issues or unexpected expenses come up or you know um monkey wrenches being thrown into their paths things coming up that were disrupting what they wanted to do or what they were doing so this is them coming to terms with understanding that the equal give and take is important here, especially with regards to having a harmonious, loving, fulfilled, spiritually based connection. It involves equal give and take. And I'm also getting for the masculines, they most likely saw this in their own, um, with their own parents, with other family members. That they probably were in, uh, they grew up in marriages that were not, there was no equal give and take. And because of that, it's also a past life thing. It is also karmic debt that needs to be paid. They acquired this from their past lives, from their ancestral patterns. And now, but they are the ones to be the golden link to break that. It's the same with the feminines. And then at the bottom of the deck, we have the fool card. The fool keeps coming up on their end, whether it's coming out there or it's at the bottom of the deck. This is them embarking on a new journey to understand this. Not being fearful as to, not being fearful in pursuing their dreams that they really want for of wands that they do. They see it clearly now. It's not about the money. 
It's not about the power. It's not about being wealthy because Six of Pentacles is a wealthy individual. You don't, your power does not come for how much money you have. And that's another thing that the masculines had to understand because again, with the ancestral patterns, money equaled power for especially those masculines who are men, okay? So now they have to take the leap of faith and go after, it's like, okay, you know what? I'm gonna go after my dreams. I want that four of wands. I want a new beginning. I wanna start off on a clean slate, but I need to build my own wealth, right? But understanding the inner wealth is important, but especially some of the uh, masculines have been in financial ruin, like five of pentacles. But it was because they were caught up in the material world. So now they're starting to find things of value and valuing more of, of um, who the feminine is to them. Because the feminine was setting an example. And also, you know, going, embarking in that new journey to build material wealth so that they can have this solid, stable home building that foundation, especially a foundation that is that is spiritually based to have this type of family, to have this type of marriage, to have this type of life. All right. So now they're going to not care about what anybody thinks. I'm hearing from my angels that a lot of their ancestral patterns are starting to be cleared out, to be cut out with the sword of Excalibur, the Ace of Swords, that they're starting to let those things fall by the wayside because this is the hero's journey, right? They're starting all over again, now on a better footing because now they understand what is of value to them and what is going to bring them the ultimate happiness. Very nice. Oh, I was gonna clarify and they said, no, let's not clarify for today. Okay. No, they said, wait a minute. I don't, they're crazy. They said, there's something that needs to be said with the clarification. Okay. All right, guides. They're like, sorry, Jess, we changed our minds. <laughs> Spirit guides, angels, galactic family, praying, Syrians, please reveal to us for our highest good why the Four of Wands and the Ace of Swords is here are here please and thank you thank you for your wisdom your guidance your support and your clarity i think my guides my angels are playing with me now because we have four cards that came out okay now i know they said wait we need to make something clear this is about some sort of legal thing judgment is at the bottom of the deck for some of them this is about an actual legal case all right we have three of pentacles five of wands we have eight of pentacles look at all the pentacles here and the page of cups yep some of the masculines are dealing with the legal battle of the child there's a child here some of them some have one son or a son and a daughter or twins doesn't have to be they told me to say that for whatever reason if you know this fine if you don't then don't you know worry about it too much but some of the masculines are dealing with a legal battle here and it involves children we have the page of cups here um and see with the five of wands yep arguing fighting custody battle it's a battle what did i say custody battle and then the eight of pentacles yeah they're working hard on something they're committed to, to uh, they're fighting for their children. Wow. That's what I just heard. Oh, okay. My angels are saying they're fighting for their children because the, the mother of the child has been trying to use their child as a pawn. And they have been trying to get money out of the the masculines and hanging the child over their heads. This is tough. Okay. Um, now, I will say there are a few here 
where your masculine was not married to this person. They just had a child with them. Okay, that's for a few. Others, they were actually married to this individual that they had a child with. Okay, there's a big conflict here. That's why feminines, you're not hearing from them. They need to deal with this. I said there are battles that they are dealing with, conflicts and challenges you know nothing about. It's right there. That's why they said, wait a minute, just go back and clarify because now it's they're, they're confirming what I was channeling, what I was getting from these energies, okay? Three of Pentacles is... Um, yeah, it, it's creating something. It's leveling up. It's building something. They want to build something better, a more solid foundation. And I was talking about that with the Four of Wands. They, wow, this is coming in really strong. The masculines are now, somebody's masculines coming in here and saying feminine. We need you to understand. I'm channeling them right now. We need you to understand that I we need to clear this issue with my ex-spouse, with the mother of my child, before I could come into union with you. Otherwise, this individual is going to haunt us for the rest of our days. They are going to continue to disrupt our harmonious family, the family that I want to build with you, the happy home that I want to build with you. Some of them are talking about blended families because some of you feminines already have children of your own. They do not want this karmic to interfere with your connection. This is why they have to do what they have to do. They are not going to communicate with you because they do not want you involved. It is not your business. It is not your place. God has been guiding them and telling them how to handle the situation on their own. They are asking for your prayers. They are asking for your unconditional love. They are asking for your strength, your hope, and your faith at this time. Wow. A lot of the masculines are standing behind me with their arms crossed. They're being very serious about this. And for those of you who have masculines, who are not dealing with this type of custody battle, child support stuff. There's some legal battle here going on and they don't want me to share it for whatever reason. It has to, they, well, they always say it has to do with something with money and a job. I just heard embezzlement. That's for somebody here. Okay, they're telling me to stop because I'm getting, they're telling me everything, but they're like, no, 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 no. Nope, we're not going to reveal that in this reading. If you're curious, they're saying that personal reading is the best for that. I'm not gonna be airing everybody's laundry on this channel, okay? So, and there's no judgment on the masculines either if, if they're doing this type of stuff, all right? There's something here, embezzling from a job, but that's the last I'm gonna say of that. Um, but for some of them, yeah, there's, they're, they're, they're fighting for their children. They're trying to, to, they're having this battle, a legal battle, and it has to do with money here. There are a lot of pentacles. We've got six of pentacles and now eight and now three. That's a lot of pentacles. You guys, um, they are committed to resolving this. And again, they're telling me again to say to the feminines, Please might be mindful of this. Please be respectful of this. This is a very tough battle. Five of Wands is very challenging energy. They're trying to hold their center through all of this. They're trying to stay connected to God as they undergo this battle. All right. And for those who aren't dealing with any, uh, you know, there's a challenge here, but they're they're like, I need to commit myself and trust my instincts and trust my intuition to open my heart to building a better foundation for our future. Again, that's what I was talking about because they want the four of wands, but four of wands guys, isn't like the families that we tend to see. And I'm not knocking on other people's families. Don't get me wrong. The one that I grew up in, the marriage was not 
happy, even though they faked it. There was unequal give and take to, to it at an, um, times infinity is what I want to say. Okay. I came from a home like that amongst other things that I won't get into here. A lot of the masculines came from homes like that. I was in a marriage like that. It was still unequal give and take. You see the ancestral patterns here that both you and I, your masculines need to break. This is why this we are in this. We are supposed to cut that stuff to stop it from happening with our descendants, to stop it from happening in in, in the future and to stop with these custody battles and these legal battles with these people. And I'm, don't get me wrong. I mean, I went through a divorce and there was none of this because I knew better, but there are people out there and the masculines deal with ex-spouses or, you know, uh, mothers of their children, fathers of their children who try to take, utilize their children as pawns and to try to take every cent out of their pocket. This has got to stop, okay? But the masculines have to do this on this, their own and they have to understand that they have to, to, to be strong to deal with this. And God is going, justice will be brought to this uh, contract that they have with the karmic, okay? But again, they're asking for prayers and for unconditional love, which is what the feminines are supposed to be doing every day. That's what God wants us to do. And a lot of the other masculines are like following their hearts. They're opening their heart to love again. Because now they are valuing this four of wands energy. And they want to be able to be in a financially stable place for you. It's like they want to buy you a home in the future because you are deserving of it. But they also want to build this beautiful home with you to have a family of your own and for it to be unlike the families they were in and unlike the families you were in. You see how beautiful that is? When they are fighting for that, they want to build something masterful with you. And they're going to do whatever it takes to do that. They're even fighting like with family members, fighting with siblings, maybe. There's like, again, children are involved here. People who are younger than them, uh, even co-workers who are younger than them. Because uh, Eight of Pentacles is about work and Three of Pentacles is work, right? There's a lot of challenges here, feminines, and, and they need to, there's a lot going on with them. Chaos. But they are committed to getting out of these battles, these challenges. It's going to make them stronger. It's going to build a lot of character. Because with whatever comes down the pike, because I will say in your joint mission, People are going to be fighting you, the dark forces especially, and both of you need to be prepared for that. Yep. Again, judgment, they're heeding the call. And yes, judges are involved, there's a legal battle involved in this. And again, with the embezzlement, again, for somebody here, judgment here they're going to have to deal with the consequences of their actions but a lot of them are starting to heed the call they're waking up to the fact oh my god now i understand what this connection is about now i understand what i i really want in my life what i truly value why is the six of pentacles here and the Seven of Cups comes up as I talked about earlier. See? No longer getting distracted by material things. Understanding what is of value. They're valuing other things that are more harmonious and more balanced. That bring them peace. That bring them harmony. That will help them to build better financial wealth. So masculines, make sure you don't start going back into the addictions, 
the obsessions with things, the materialism, right? The illusions. It's like some, you're going to be okay. They're telling me you're going to be tempted by someone or something. Either you already have been through this or you're experiencing it now or it's coming in the future. Whatever this temptation is, be careful. Be very careful because you are being deceived. And as I say that, the bottom of the deck is deception. Seven of Swords. Some of you may have been drinking, right? Negative thoughts, you are in despair, like you're all up in your head. Wearing a mask, lying to yourself. And then you were trying to drink this away. No, for some of you who are dealing with drinking addictions, they want you to do things for the greater good of humanity. That is going to help you understand how, you know, that there is good in the world, okay? This is gonna help you from being distracted by either watching too much TV or drinking too much or eating too much or gambling too much or whatever this is. Other, other relationships that are imbalanced, that are not harmonious, that are inauthentic. All right. And authentic. This is like lies and deception, betrayal. Oh, masculines, be careful because somebody's going to come in. Something's going to come try to throw you off your path. The devil's going to try to get in your way. Be careful with cu it's coming in because if you pick the wrong cup, if you pick that cup that is coming towards you, that is not for your highest good, it, Somebody's trying to betray you. You're going to be betrayed by someone. Be careful. Don't give in to these illusions and don't self-sabotage. There's some deception surrounding you here, all right? And it may have to deal with this, the person, the mother of your ch ch child, children. I'm hearing bam being bamboozled. Be careful especially with regards to your money, okay? God wants you to use discernment. Be very careful, masculines. Wow, that is interesting. This, this reading is getting very different. <laughs> All right, feminines. What's going on with you at this time? Yeah, there's money things, there's legal things for the masculines. All right, feminines, pray. You need to pray. You need to send unconditional love. They need your strength. They need your light. Don't dim your light. Whatever this battle is for them, feminines, they are need your support energetically. Let me make that clear. My guides are like, just say energetically, not in the 3D. Nope. Nope. The energy of the unconditional love, that is what heals and saves all things. What is going on with the feminines at this time? Spirit guides and angels, please and thank you. Thank you for your wisdom, your guidance, your support, and your clarity. Thank you. Woo! Now you're the one with the major arcanas. We have the magician. Some of you are Gemini. Even if you're not, it doesn't matter. I just, they wanted me to say it. The magician is here. Manifesting. Learning how to better manifest what it is you want into your life. You're starting to realize you have all the tools in your toolbox to create the life that you want. You are ready to move on to the next level. Some of you, this is a new beginning as well, have also jumped to a higher timeline. You are starting to understand that you have unlimited potential, feminines, and this is excellent energy. Make sure that you maintain this. You are not giving into deceptions, to trickery, right? Because the, ma the magician, you know, in this type of energy can be that way, manipulative, tricking you. 
You're no longer being tricked by people anymore, or even if it's not people by uh, by the 3D world. You were learning how to manifest. And by doing so, you raise your vibration and you visualize what it is that you want so that it comes to you. You are starting to see the magic of the universe. Seeing signs and synchronicities, right? Oh, Jess is reading. She talked about this. And then a song came up talking about it. Or you saw something while you were driving. Or somebody sent you a text and the same words came out. Whatever this is. You saw a YouTube video that talked about it. Whatever it is. You're starting to see the magic in the universe. How this connection, now we have the lover's card here, is Gemini again. Yes, yeah, some of you are Geminis and some of you either have strong Gemini in your chart. Again, if you don't, don't worry about it. But for those of you, okay, my angels are saying for those of you who are Gemini sun, moon rising, or have strong Gemini in your chart, this is a huge message for you. Um, they said pay attention. You're starting to realize what this connection is about, about working your magic, about healing the emotional self. This is union with the self. Yes, we know that this is another twin flame card. This talks about divine union, but you know what this also is? And I believe I talked about it in other readings. It's an alignment, being in alignment with God. That your masculine is the catalyst for your change. Your masculine is lifting you up to higher heights so that you can start shining your light. So thank God I said, don't dim your light, feminines, because look, there's your light right there. I did say your masculines need your support. But you are the one who's supposed to be in the light and stay in the light to shine your light so that they could see it at all times, especially if they're dealing with with whatever this is, even with, with something I didn't channel, okay? They want you to lead them home, okay? That is home right there. You feminines are the ones who guide them home. You are their lighthouse. You are their beacon of faith and hope. That's why when I was channeling some of the masculines when they came into my reading, the message that I gave them, it's like I was doing a divine masculine letter and I know I have to do another one. Um, I'm either going to do it tonight. It's, it's Sunday right now, August 29th or tomorrow. I have to be in the right energy for it because I think it might be a heavy one. So, um, feminines, I gave you some of the letter today. Make sure you shine your light. You get your strength from God. And then their masculine is going to get that strength from God and from you. That hope, that faith, like the star card. The star is in here. That light is in here. And it's shining all around you. As long as you follow the divine guidance, feminines, and you continue your emotional healing, you become this amazing magician. And this is helping you to manifest union. You have to elevate your vibration to help you manifest union, to focus on your healing of the self, to achieve union of the self so you can massify. That is hilarious. So you can, what the hell, magnify? Shit. So you can manifest divine sacred union into the physical. <gasps> okay. The masculines are lifting you up energetically, but you feminines gotta gain that light and that strength from God to help the masculines. This is exactly how this works. All right, what is it that the feminines need to focus on for this week? 
please and thank you. Thank you for your wisdom, your guidance, your support, and your clarity. What do the feminines need to focus on for this week? Spirit guides and angels, please and thank you. Thank you for your wisdom, your guidance, your support, and your clarity. Wow. Look at this, you guys. What you need to focus on for the bottom of the deck for the masculines, you got the same thing. Oh my goodness. How awesome is this? Look who's at the top of the deck. Look, 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 look. Leo energy. It's strength. The strength card is all about this. And I didn't even pull the card out yet. Five of cups. Oh my God. I was not expecting that, but I did sense it. Um, I didn't think it was going to come out, but hey. They want me to pull this out again. There's a reason I don't always do this. Finding that strength and that courage to push through, to move forward. Because you know, if you stay in this Five of Cups energy, it's low vibrational, nothing's going to manifest. You can't manifest a life that you want. You can't create your own reality if you are low vibrational. This is you finding the silver lining. And this connection and you know what this five of cups he he's he's praying right oh my god thank you wow spirit was it that i was channeling the the the, the, the divine masculine talking about pray for me You need to focus on praying for your masculines. I said that even after I said, make sure you do this. It's, if you don't do this already, feminines, I, I've been doing this for years. I've been praying for my masculine every single day. No joke. There's not one day that doesn't go by that I don't pray for him. And it's funny because when I was having my telepathic, uh, so-called meeting with him this morning because we always talk um, at the beginning of the day telepathically and he was talking about thanking me for oh my god for all my prayers and for all the love I've been sending him because it's been helping him tremendously that's what he told me telepathically this morning and I could feel it the more you pray the more you send unconditional love you are going to feel your vibration elevate. You won't worry about this connection anymore. You won't have any fear about this connection anymore. I'm telling you, you guys, prayer is a powerful thing. Vibrating at a high level is a powerful, powerful thing. Um, vibrating at a high frequency. Giving thanks to God for this connection. It's amazing because we saw the lovers, right? Giving thanks to God for this connection because your masculine is the one who's going who turns your life around and vice versa. It helps you to become the magician. You start finding the magic within yourself, the power that you truly have, that you never thought that you did. And you're like, holy shit, I can create all of this stuff. It's like what I realize how the life that I created for myself now, oh my God. And I give thanks to God every day for the connection, for my masculine, for everything that I have endured, that I have been through. Even my, my previous marriage, even, you know, with my parents. Everything that I've been through, I've given thanks to God. And that has been giving me my strength to continue to push forward. It's given me the confidence and courage I needed to embark on my journey alone. And I talked about the strength from God. 
right? You have to maintain that strength, not only for yourselves, but for your masculines as well, so that your masculines don't fall into five of cups, so that they can overcome that five of wands that's over there. And that comes from God, asking God for strength, praying to God for the strength needed to continue moving forward, to not go back to five of cups energy. Lord God, give me the strength to push through with this, to continue to not be deceived, to continue to find my magic, to stand in my personal power, to manifest the things that I want in life, to be at that high vibration so that when I get to union with self, I will be prepared to call in union with my counterpart. You guys, yep, have moved, jumped to a higher timeline as well. Everybody has. This is you with that leap of faith. I can embark on this journey alone. I am going to pray more. I am going to, to do everything in my power to go on this journey alone without having any fear with not caring about what anybody thinks, what my family thinks, what my coworkers think, what my friends think, what society thinks. Because maybe you share with other people about this type of connection and they're like, what the hell are you doing? That, that doesn't exist. It's not real. It doesn't make any sense, blah, blah, blah. You have to believe in the impossible too. Just like the masculines are doing. This is Aquarian energy. It's ruled by Uranus. Uranus I'm telling you, you're, the full moons in Aquarius, I was talking about that, have done a big thing for a lot of counterpart connections. There's been a huge shift. So make sure that you focus on being carefree, right? I was talking about not worrying about this connection, not giving it to fear. I'm going to go do what I want to do. And I'm going to continue praying along the way. I'm going to continue to have that hope, that silver lining, that there is something better. That this two of cups here is essentially what I want to manifest. But I know that I have to find my ace of cups first. Two of cups is about the mutual unconditional love for each other. You have to prepare. You have to be ready to give and receive unconditional love. And so does your masculine. It's all about the unconditional love. You're not going to be worrying about these spilled cups anymore. You're not going to be crying over spilled milk. Because you are going to have a stronger connection with God. Now that you're going to be giving more things and you're going to be praying more, you're going to be uh doing more spiritual work for yourself for others and you're now going to embark on this journey on your own because you're going to be following the light because the fool believes in himself he trusts the path that god has led him towards and he trusts the fact that god is going to lead him to his paradise he just has to go through all the phases of the major arcana so that he can be prepared for his next journey and i was saying that the next journey with your joint mission with your divine counterpart wow okay the magician why is the magician here Please and thank you. Thank you for your wisdom, your guidance, your support, and your clarity. Spirit guides, angels, galactic family, children, Syrians. Please clarify the magician for our highest good. Woo! Yeah. Hold on a second, guys. Oh, was it that I missed something? 
I was going to talk about this because they said, Jess, look behind the fool. And I forgot. I didn't change anything. You guys know that there's no point in doing that. Look what's behind the fool. Hierophant. Your spirituality. Teaching people about your life's lessons. Finding the meaning of life. Being embarking on the new journey to become the spiritual advisor, the teacher, the counselor. Letting those false beliefs fall away. But this is more about being more connected to God. This is a Jesus card. This is a God card. Your journey to your higher self, which is tied to this energy. And look what came out if you didn't already see it. The Hierophant. I was talking about this, was I not? Your spirituality, being closer to God. Oh my God, thank you, Jesus. And my guides and everybody. <laughs> It's no joke when they tell me what decks to pick, you guys. It's 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 one of the most beautiful things about reading tarot for me. Five of Cups, praying to God, being closer to God, more in tune with your spirituality. All right? You are not going to be worrying about this Two of Cups anymore. It doesn't manifest the union into the physical. It does not. We already know because we've seen Five of Cups a lot in these readings. For those of you who've been watching these for a while, we understand that this energy is not going to get anywhere. The sadness, the sorrow, the loss. Oh, I've lost my masculine. I lost my Two of Cups. No, you haven't. Your masculine came into your life as a catalyst for, to be your catalyst for change, to get you to where, to be closer to God, to be more in tune with your spiritual gifts, to follow your calling as being a spiritual leader in some capacity. No, it doesn't talk about being a priest or a nun. <laughs> Did somebody ask that <laughs> or think it? No. This is you getting closer to God, understanding the true meaning of life. Understanding your true spiritual power. See the meaning of life, the same thing with the, with the masculines is starting to realize. But you at a different capacity because this is major arcana. This is Taurus energy. Value. Valuing the gifts from God that have been given to you. Valuing God himself. And right, the magic, the power within you, the, the God-given gifts, your spiritual gifts, your spiritual power. I mean, look at this. Look at this. This is focusing on being closer to God. Really having that direct line of communication to God at all times. And again, I talked about Prayer, doing spiritual practices, things that have been different based on the religion that you grew up in. God is now telling me to tell all of you to do more research on other religions. The, the other religions that you are not of. If you are Hindu, research Christianity and Buddhism and uh other religions if you're a christian study more about hinduism and buddhism that type of thing you get the idea that's what i was guided to say i actually did that which helped me to understand about chakras and 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 more about hindu gods and goddesses and more about buddha and things like that it's, it's been eye-opening and it's actually helped me with my journey, believe it or not. And I incorporate all of these things from all the religions into my practices. But I always maintain my direct line of communication to God because God is the one who supersedes everything. He controls everything. He's the creator of everything. And we get our strength from God to create our own reality because God wants that reality for us. This will lead you to your 10 of pentacles. See what I was talking about? You're not focusing on the two of cups. 
you're focusing on this. If you were focusing on this love the whole time, it's not about the romantic love. Again, it's the agape love. And it's not just being in union with your counterpart. Because God wants this for you. The Ten of Pentacles. That's the quintessential dream. I'm going to sound really weird here, but my angels want me to say this. Do you want to be in union with your person when your person still has an ex-wife or an ex-husband, you know, holding their kids over your head too, over his head, her head, uh, disrupting your family? Uh, you, I'm hearing from some story. Um, you guys are planning to go on vacation and you're, you're, current, you're masculine. You're now married to your masculine. You're going on vacation. You each have your kids. And then your masculine's ex-wife, let's say, uh, all of a sudden says, oh, you can't have your son, your daughter for the vacation. I'm keeping her or him here when you've made all these plans to go to Disney World or something, right? You got to take a flight. You booked all this stuff. And now your son, your, your masculine son or daughter is now being quote unquote held captive by your ex, your, your masculine's ex. You see where I'm going with this? And that's probably what's going on with somebody's masculine here or what could potentially occur, what was occurring in your masculine's life with their ex. Do you want that? Is that four of wands? Is that 10 of pentacles? Because this is also harmonious, very balanced, very stable, secure uh, uh, marriage, family, home. This is the quintessential dream. Do you want that involved with your 10 of pentacles? Because you know what? That's not 10 of pentacles. If you have a third party interfe interfering with your marriage, with your masculine, your connection with your masculine, no, you don't want that. You don't want other third parties interfering too. Your exes, family members, whatever this is. Right? Do you see where I'm getting at with this? Do you want to be in a connection with your masculine when he's in financial ruin? If he's, he or she's continuing to drink, to gamble, to embezzle money. If that, I mean, I'm not judging again, but that's what my guides were telling me. Somebody's masculine here was embezzling money. I'm not going to lie. This is not rainbows and puppies channel. This is the truth here. And yes, we make mistakes. We all do. But God is helping us to get out of those predicaments and to get us to learn. Because essentially we all can have the Ten of Pentacles. We just have to be in alignment with this. And not focus so much on the material world. Focus on this God and spirituality and attracting the Ten of Pentacles. This is why God doesn't want you to be saddened by this. You're changing this now, feminines, because you're going to be praying for that strength to continue on on that journey. Understanding your true power so that you can manifest that. But... God is not just going to give you union with your counterpart. You are going to have the Ten of Pentacles with your counterpart. But this is so high vibrational that both of you are not ready for this now because both of you, the elevation has to be raised in violet flame because this is violet flame energy right here. Look at the violet in this card. Ten of Pentacles is tied to this energy. When you are completely in alignment with God and you are connected to God like no other, and you solely real, rely on God for your source and supply of the Ten of Pentacles. Because God is our only source and supply. God is the one who gives you the Ten of Pentacles. Not anyone else. Not anything else. Page of Swords is at the bottom of the deck. Communication with God, this is you starting to begin a new journey with communicating more with your angels, your guides, with God, your ancestors. Thinking before you speak, you're getting these ideas now on how to better do this. 
God's giving you the Ace of Swords in your hand to gain insight and awareness as to how you are now going to move forward with regards to your spirituality and how you can connect more strongly to God. Wow. This, oh, they're also talking about doing more research. I, <laughs> Wasn't I saying doing more research on other religions? I didn't even know the Page of Swords was here. This is, what this is what they're talking about. Study. Do more research on other religions. Do more research on spirituality. Spiritual practices. If you want to talk to me about it, go ahead and shoot me an email. Capella, uh, what is it? Capella, capellawellness.com or join the Light Counterpart community. This is funny because now God is telling me, hey, Jess, now you're going to have another idea for what you want to share with your counterpart community. And I'm going to do just that. I'm going to share more. I'm going to have open up another discussion about our spiritual practices. And so we can help each other. We can kind of level up our spiritual practices. Thank you. That message is for me in this reading. How awesome is that? <laughs> Wait a minute. Okay, guys. I just had some really, really weird time warp. I don't remember what the clarification was for. I kept picking up the five of cups, right? Dude, was I clarifying for the magician? Whoa, something weird happened here. Okay, they're telling me to stop. My message has been made clear. They're saying there's no more to say about that. We're going to leave it at that. Let's. <laughs> oh my God. See what happens when you get into the serious channeling? Like you can't remember shit. I'm going to have to play this back. Either way, guys, that's that's it for the clarification they want me to, to give to you guys. What guidance do we have for the. Um... Look what popped out. Gratitude list. What guidance do we have for the divine masculines at this time? Spirit guides and angels, thank you. We have quiet retreat. It's time to disconnect from the outer world so that you can discern and process your true thoughts and feelings from your inner world. Create this quiet time for yourself and you'll have more clarity about what to do next. All right, this is going to help you with this challenge that you're undergoing. There was legal battle for some of you masculines, okay? Some of you need to take a like a staycation, a mini vacation. Go out in nature. Spend some more time in nature. Ask God, okay, God, I am here. Get to your center. Meditate. God is going to give you the answers, okay? You want to know about what to do next, especially with hat handling, this challenge that you're undergoing. Go out in nature. Ask God. God is going to give you the answer. It's going to be another Ace of Swords for you. Focus on your priorities. Yep, that's what I was saying. Where you put your focus is where you receive your outcome. Your priorities are calling to you, which may produce a feeling of anxiety unless you give them, to, give them the time and attention they and you deserve. Even a small amount of time devoted to your priorities will help you feel better and more confident. See, with the Six of Pentacles I was talking about, and Ace of Swords is about focus. Focus on what you value. You are valuing the Four of Wands now. And you want to build for that. Build more stable financial wealth. Focus on your priorities. I was, It's amazing. It's right here. Don't get distracted. Again, with the Seven of Cups energy, okay? This is nice bottom of the deck is moonlighting. You can start working on your dream career part-time while keeping your other job to pay the bills. Soon your dream career will take flight and fully support you. See financial support? Guys, masculine, follow whatever this dream is. Yes, I know there's some of you, there's a legal battle, there's some, some conflict here. But look, we've got the three of pentacles and the eight of pentacles, right? Working on some, building some new business, a new job for yourself, whatever this is. 
there's something that you're very crafty with, something that you're very skilled at, you're supposed to be building a basis based off that skill. All right, what guidance do we have for the feminines for this week? Thank you. Oh, wow. Okay. We have obstacles and blocks are lifted. It's Archangel Michael is here. All your good personal work and your positive energy shift have overcome previous obstacles and blocks are lifted away. You will now experience progress and forward movement with your projects. Stay centered in gratitude to ensure that your flow of abundance continues. Yep, I was talking about doing your gratitude prayers, making sure you don't complain. Continue to give thanks to God as you go on your journey. See, I was talking about moving to a higher, uh, jumping to a higher timeline. You've overcome some previous obstacles. Blocks are lifted. Okay? They're also asking you to ask Archangel Michael for additional support. Okay? Especially with removing blocks and with protection. Protecting your energies too. And as I say, energy, clean energy food. When you fuel your body with a healthful organic diet, you increase your energy levels and ability to focus. This automatically leads to more efficiency, better ideas, and a higher vibration, which attracts golden opportunities and beneficial relationships. Yeah, I can attest to this because with sometimes, but way before when I wouldn't be eating well, I, my manifestation abilities weren't there. And I was, you know, when something would go wrong or something like that, my vibration would tank and then I wasn't able to get back up there as quickly as I do now. Now I'm like so high vibrational. But that's also because that I I change my diet even more and I'm very, very careful if I'm going to have like some junk food. That doesn't mean that you can't eat like McDonald's fries in any given day, right? It's just an all moderation. You can treat yourself, but you have to be mindful of not having McDonald's fries every day, that type of thing. Um, a lot of you have to improve your diet. It does help with manifestation abilities and it does increase your vibration. You do channel better you do read tarot better you do your work better you write better all of the above release resentments about money yes the money system of the world can seem upsetting but holding resentments about finances just pushes your abundance away instead see money as a tool you can use to better the world and this shift will help you attract support and golden opportunities yep for some of you, there's this, and I get it because it's the 3D world, right? The the masculines were having the same problems with the four of pentacles, right? Six of pentacles, like, well, you know, material wealth, like this, this, and that. But you get more when you give more. Seeing money as a tool you could use to better the world. Yep. That shifts your perspective about money that allows you to clear the lower vibrational energies, the negative energies with, with regards to 3D stuff. When your vibration raises and you're more in alignment with what you truly value, this is going to help you. And then you will be able to attract the, like the Ten of Pentacles energy too, right? Oh, they want me to go back to this. Maybe some of you are worried or there's some sadness surrounding here where you're not sure if living, having a career, living this more spiritual life, moving away from the job that you've had is going to give you financial stability. Okay, maybe some of you are thinking about that, but you have to understand the magic of the universe, the law of attraction over here. Your thoughts create your reality. You create your reality. And when you are working your magic and you are truly in alignment with, with God and focusing on your spiritual path, you will attract that abundance. All right? Just like, but you have to release resentments about money. That's for some, not for all. And this, release jealousy. Jealousy is an affirmation that you don't have something and the universe manifests exactly as you affirm. Let other people's successes inspire rather than frustrate you. If they can have it, so can you. Yeah. Everyone can be abundant. 
with your spiritual calling, with your journey. Some of you might be comparing your journey to others. Don't do that, guys. Don't do that, feminines. That's lower vibrational energy, right? It's going to manifest in that where more jealousy is going to surround you, where more negative energy is going to surround you, okay? So make sure that, especially if you're comparing your other journeys, everyone's on a different timeline. Everyone started at a different time. Everyone gets to union at a different time. Especially if you know of people who actually come into physical sacred union, like the final stage. If that is happening, if you're seeing this now, or if this is going to come in the future, if somebody announces something, oh, you know, I'm, I'm finally in union and I'm marrying my counterpart. Don't get jealous. Okay. That's low vibrational. You, you're on a different timeline on a different journey. As long as you focus on what it is that you want and you do the work, you will get there too. Mind you again, for those of you who don't know, I am 41. And I've been working with people who are 20 years younger than I am. And I've been trying to get those younger people, teaching them what I know now so that they can get to union faster, where they will be in union, I don't know, 25, 30. It's all up to God. God controls it all. But you get my point? But I am at my age. I started my journey late in the game. I was 35 when I met my counterpart. And he was 40. No, 39. He was 39. A lot of you met your counterparts at a much younger age. But this will take some time. But... Enjoy this journey of the fool. I'm not saying you're a fool, but enjoy the journey of the fool because this is some amazing, amazing journey that a lot of people will never get to experience. And the big part here is that only will you be this incredible being who's going to be happy all the time and people are going to be like, I want what you have. They're not going to want your car, your house, your money. They're going to want your personality, your vibration. Because happiness and unconditional love is ultimately what people want. And that's what God wants for each and every one of you. And this is not just for the feminines, it's for the masculines as well. Okay? So make sure you don't compare yourself to other people's journeys. Again, if you hear of people coming into union or something, don't get jealous. They did the work. Okay? And it wasn't easy for them either. Everything happens in due time. Everything happens in divine timing. Alrighty. Let's see. The bottom of your deck is exercise to increase your energy and manifestation abilities. The key to manifesting quickly is to have very high energy levels and the easiest way to increase them is through physical exercise. Choose a fun and meaningful activity so that you'll look forward to exercising and it becomes its own reward. Yep. Some of you need to go out there Right? See, the magician is here. Learning about how to manifest. God is now giving you additional guidance how to boost your manifestation abilities, feminines. I'm also hearing listen to music and dance around. That's a form of exercise. And that is actually the best one for me. My manifestation abilities have really, really increased once I started dancing and singing and i do this every single day i've been doing it for years that is a super awesome way it's one of my best methods for for manifesting dancing singing listening to music all the same time obviously that is my tip to you guys to do and it raises your vibration too it's like a no-brainer it's why that's my favorite thing to do it increases my abilities, my psychic abilities, the work that I do, my spiritual work, everything. Everything. But yeah, you know, if you want to take walks, I take walks too for an hour every day out in nature with my son. You know, those types of things. 
It's going to help clear you. It'll help clear your energies. It does wonders. Walking and dancing and listening to music is what I do. If you want to know. All right. We're going to get guidance for the connection overall. Spirit guides, angels, galactic family, played in series. What guidance do we have for the connection? Woo. Okay. Love. It is the right time for you to experience a loving, committed relationship. Enjoy it. See? Enjoy this journey, guys. Because the love that you guys are going to have at the end, the relationship, the companionship you're going to have at the end is something that everyone really, really wants. Unconditional love and happiness. Bliss. Okay. Enjoy this time. Enjoy the love of God, the love you have for your masculine, the love you have for your feminines. Love is what is going to manifest physical sacred union. It's unconditional love. It's going to heal. It's going to work magic for everything. Balance. It's time to find balance in your life. What is most important to you? See, wow. See, balance. What is most important to the masculines? What is most important to the feminines? Look how awesome that is. Love and balance. That balance you bring into your life and making sure you do everything out of love is going to balance more of your energies, your chakras, and the, co the connection itself. We have positive at the bottom of the deck. Enjoy this positive time. Smile. Know that everything is going well. See? All is well, you guys. Remain in a positive mindset. Keep that vibration high. I was talking, enjoy this connection. Enjoy this time of solitude. Enjoy all the lessons you have learned. You are learning. You are going to be learning. I'm telling you, the life that you will end up li living it's like people tell me, it's like, how are you so positive? How are you so zen? That's what my my friend, who's also my car mechanic, told me. I always thought that was the greatest thing. My sister, everybody. How are you so, at the doctor's office, wherever I'm at, I talk to people in a store. And they're like, I love your energy. And I don't even know the person. That's what God wants for every single one of us. It's a journey, guys. You know, it, it this this I'm in my sixth year, if you don't already know. This hasn't been easy for me. Okay? And don't get all hung up on that either. It, it takes a long time. Especially if you don't listen to your internal guidance, right? God keeps kicking you in the ass, and then you finally listen. Oh, I could have. I could have gotten to union sooner. I could have achieved this sooner. But you know what? I wouldn't change it for the world. All right. What is coming to this connection with regards to... What is the... Wait. What is the new moon in Virgo bringing to this connection? Spirit guides and angels, thank you. Yeah. Adjustments are required. Yep, Virgo is about adjustments, routines. It also talks about your health, right? That's why we talk about eating, cleaning energy. Focus on your priorities. Some of you need to do some things in the home, right? Retreat your mental health, your spiritual health, your, your emotional health. They want me to read the book. Okay, I'll read the book. Third quarter moon. But yeah, it's funny because Virgo does talk, uh, Virgo season does talk also about making adjustments in your environment. Um, third quarter is 36. That number has been following me like the plague. Anyway, um, whoops. Think of yourself as a vessel that has been filled more and more over the past few weeks. 
Some of what has come your way may have been wonderful, but there's also a lot of negativity and you need to let go of this. Whatever situation you're asking about now, be honest and about whether there are toxic emotions involved, which you need to release into, eth into the ethers. This card also comes with the promise that all is not lost. See, all is well. However, there are changes or adjustments required before you will get to where you want to be. A change, of course, is forecast now that recent events have been understood and acted upon. There may also be a crisis now, which will remind you what you want and what it's time to let go of. So pay attention. This is exactly what we were talking about in this reading. Virgo's also about decluttering, right? Not only your home, but your energies. I am reevaluating the situation. Your life may be out of balance and this may be causing your issues. It may be time to hatch a whole new plan. Yep. Something new and exciting is around the corner. Trust may be required to move the situation forwards. At the time of the third quarter moon, we know where we have been. But where are we going? The moon is now a half moon and slipping away from us as she catches less and less light, moving towards her full disappearance at new moon. It's a time of falling away and a time to reevaluate. No matter when you draw this card, the teaching is to release and to trust. See? Pray. Have faith. I've got, I was talking about changing your routines, praying to God more. Everything I just said falls exactly in alignment with what this card talks about. New moon in Virgo, new beginnings, right? Start doing new practices. Start doing full moon, new moon practices. If you need guidance on that, um, if you join the Light Card Apart community, I'll talk about it there. Uh, or you can email me again. The email is in the description box. Send me a chat on my website, whatever it is. Do that. And here's Full Moon in Taurus. Your dreams need a practical plan. Practicality here, right? Some of you might be overly hoping, praying, wishing. But you got to create something in order for you to have your dreams and your wishes and stuff come true. Especially if you're hoping for reunion. You have to do the work and you have to embark on that fool's journey alone and going into it without fear and not listening to what anybody says. And not comparing your other journeys to others. Okay. All right. We're going to use this lover's oracle deck to see what other messages God has for us. All right. Spirit guides, angels, galactic family, plenty series. Please reveal to us for our highest good. What other messages do you have for the counterparts at this time? Please and thank you. Thank you for your wisdom, your guidance, your support, and your clarity. This is the deck that is hard to shuffle. Ooh, I like that one. Oh, Lord. Okay. We have quite a few cards. I always like showing the artwork because it's just gorgeous. So we have this. Here's the artwork for this one. Friendship. Nurture the bonds of friendship within your relationship and your love life will dramatically improve. You want to be best friends with your counterpart too. You know, I know for some of uh, the counterparts, their journey start off really quickly where like the whole sexual thing starts off like right away. And then it's like trying to go backwards, but you want to develop that friendship. And this is also talking about you can actually nurture this, right? In the 5D, it sounds kind of crazy, but you can. Here's the artwork for this card. Heart with wings. Let your heart soar. When you pass from this world, you take nothing with you but your soul and the memories you have shared with those you love. I got strongly from this for those of you with attachments to money and things like that. Um... You don't take your money with you. You don't take your wealth with you. It's your soul and the memories. The things that you've experienced is what you take with you. Here's the artwork for this one. There's light coming out of this guy. This person's eyes. Maybe your counterpart has blue eyes. That's what I just heard. It doesn't have to be. 
and the Merk Merkabah's there. Look deep within your heart and you will feel my love. My love for you is as deep as the ocean. This is mainly a message from the masculine to the feminines, but this is also going from the feminine to the masculine. But it's coming more strongly from the masculines. Yep, the love, emphasis on this love. The love is the main focus in this connection, the unconditional love. It's like when my counterpart talked to me this morning telepathically and he was talking about like the love that I've been sending him, the prayers and everything. You, when you feel that energetically, it's like this. It's like no other. And it's what helps with maintaining your high vibration. Even when the person is not there. I know it sounds weird to you guys. But just wait when you go on this journey. It's so beautiful when you get to that point. Here's the secret admirer card. Someone has deeper feelings for you than they are letting on. Yep, this is the masculines having deeper feelings for the feminines. Again, the mask. It's an illusion. They've never felt like this about anyone before and it scares the shit out of them. They run. They're afraid of this because they are also afraid of being hurt again. They've been hurt pretty badly and whatever they went through in their childhood, it was not what, what they taught were taught love was. And this love is completely different, especially this is divine love of God. This is completely different. I know for me, I've never experienced a love like this, not from anyone. But when you understand the true divine love of God, like how the power in that and how that heals and it heals other people, it's, it's the greatest thing on this earth. And why would you not want that? The bottom of the deck is emotions are a natural and necessary part of life, but they can also distort your perception and cloud your vision. In order to see things clearly, you must let go of resentment. Oh, that's more of a message for the feminines. Resentment about money, jealousy. Okay, we don't want any of that. It does go for the masculines as well, right? Both parties here need to release that low vibrational energy. You're going to attract more resentment, more negativity into your life if you continue. But when it comes to the emotions... It's what, what, what I get from this is unconditional love. Don't let the emotions of resentment and jealousy and lack get the best of you. Those are the emotions you don't want to have linger around in your energies for an extended period of time. And again, when you have those low vibrational emotions clouding your judgment... How can you see clearly? How can your crown chakra be open? How can you receive the divine guidance and be gain insight and awareness into this connection, into to your life, into your calling? We are not going to be resentful of our masculines, of other people's connections. Okay, I'm going to have to say this. And my guides are telling me not to worry. But I just felt some of you who are watching, this also pertains to me. That's what my angels just told me. There are some people here who are jealous of me, where I'm at in my journey, what I've been able to accomplish, Uh, yeah, there's resentment and jealousy here. And I, for some of you, it has to do with me too, not just with your masculines, not just with other people and their connections, but I'm feeling it guys. And no, I'm not angry. I'm not going to curse you out because that defeats the purpose of what I've learned. 
and this this reminds me of uh, me resenting, you know, the other people that my masculine, the other females my masculine used to deal with way back in the day, a long time ago. And yeah, I got caught up in that too. But that's not of the divine light. That's devil energy. The devil doesn't have a hold of me anymore. I am a divine counterpart. I am of the light. I'm supposed to shine my light to help others and for allowing myself to continue to grow, to ascend. <clears throat> I know I talked about me jumping to a higher timeline. If some of you feel like you haven't, it's coming. Again, we're all on different journeys. This, I do it this way to give you guys guidance. Don't compare your journey to mine. Don't compare your journey to others. Don't compare your life to others either. You have to release people, things, jobs, the money, being tied to money, the 3D world, lower vibrational energies. If you stay stuck in those, you cannot have the Ten of Pentacles. I talked about the Ten of Pentacles being at the high vibration. If your vibration is low and you're negative, this is not in alignment with the Ten of Pentacles. It's not. Get closer to God. God has got to show you the way. I pray for those who are resenting me, who are resenting what I do, who are jealous of me, What? Who are wishing they could be like me? Okay. One of my guides just told me that. Um, who are jealous of the progress that I've made, where I'm at in my journey. I pray for you. I do. I love you unconditionally. That is what I have learned to do. And I'm also picking up on, this is future jealousy. No, it's current and future of, of even my own family. Yeah. I had Archangel Chamuel just tell me that. Yep. And friends, the few friends that I have left. I have a feeling that some of my coworkers have found out what I'm doing. They may have found my website, my um, YouTube channel. And they're like, oh my God. How she get to live that life? I worked hard for this, you guys. I did. I went through a lot. I cried a lot. I dealt with a lot of bullshit, a lot of shitty people. I found out something from my aunt that my mom said that I'm not going to talk about here. That was maybe a little bit ticked off and it was like, wow, my own mother would say that about my, my situation, about me. I know this is running long, but I don't care because if you're still here, you're serious about this journey. This is to help you. I'm trying to get you guys to get to union a little quicker than what I did. And I know everyone's on divine timing, but God has told me we need the twins to come, into, the counterparts to come into union sooner. And I went through all my stuff the hard way so I can help you guys. I don't do this for shits and giggles. It's funny because I was like, you know what? Do I want to continue doing this? But I still have people who come to me and say, you know what, Jess, thank you. Keep shining your light. And I was like, you were right. Because that was what I was called to do. It takes up my time and my energies. And I want all of you, I sincerely want all of you to get to union with self and to live this amazing life that I am living. You guys can have it too. You can. It takes a lot of work, a lot of courage, a lot of faith. Faith is the key here. 
That's why we have the Hierophant here. That's why the Hierophant was behind the full card at the bottom of the deck for what you need to focus on. God is everything in your life, everything. And when you get super close to him and you rely solely on him, that's where all these miracles come in. All this magic happens in your life. It does. I'm an example of that. I'm trying to be an example of that. But when you go through this, guys, with all the stuff, that's why I say when you're preparing for union with your counterpart and your joint mission, you are probably going to have family members and friends, close people, who are actually going to be jealous of your life, of what you're doing. And then what's to come after this? The abundance that God gives you once you, you get to the finish line? And you have that that Ten of Pentacles, the Four of Wands with your counterpart. And everyone sees that they're like, oh my God, like I wish I had all of that. And then they get jealous. They start resenting you. Oh, well, maybe he or she, you know, they, you know, this, 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 and that. They start saying all this type of bullshit. Maybe they got lucky. They were lucky. A luck has a little bit to do with it. Combination of this and this has everything to do with this and this. You hear me? Yeah, Ace of Swords too. But Magician and the Hierophant have everything to do with manifesting four of wands and ten of pentacles. And that's what I'm teaching you guys. Because I don't know if any other readers, and again, I don't know all of them, and I'm not knocking on them either, who talk about that. You've got to be in your personal power. And you have to work with the universe. You have to co-create with the universe it, with God. To bring you the life that you want. You have to learn to forgive. You have to learn to unconditionally love everyone in all things. And I mean everyone. And it's hard. I have people tell me, that's impossible. You can't do that. Why did Jesus come to this earth? Why do we have God in the first place? If it isn't about unconditional love. It's like, listen to Steve Winwood's song, Higher Love. I wish there were more songs like that. I've been listening to that on loop every single morning when I get ready. I changed to listening to my uh, Capella playlist to, to boost my energies for the day, to keep my vibe high, to get me motivated for the day, and to stay motivated. Now I'm listening to Steve Winwood's Higher Love, and everything, every time I listen to the song and I sing it and I dance to it even, I'm like, you know... If only people would understand that this was life was about. If this, if they understood what this life was about. Finding the higher love. It's this. The love that is tied to this. The love of God. The unconditional divine love of God. Is what we are here to seek. But we have to get to that with God first. So that we attract it. And here, the love card is here again. Right? We have to attract it. Nobody teaches this shit. Now I know. And now I'm attracting all of this stuff into my life. And now that I know what I know, I'm here to teach you what I know. <laughs> what I have learned. What I have come to understand. And when we stop focusing on the outside world and stop resenting people and things and being jealous and, and trying to compare, if we continue to do that, the world will still continue to be the way that it is. Because what is that? It's double energy. It's not love. It's not love. Love is what heals all things. Love is what raises the vibration of the planet. Love is what makes us more harmonious. And that's tied to the divine, 
to, to God, to Jesus, to divine love itself. We cannot have resentments about anything. We cannot have jealousies towards anyone, anyone. And I was trying to get to a point. This whole part of this purpose of you going through this journey is that when you get to a point when people start being or becoming jealous of you, having resentments towards you, you will be able to speak the way that I am speaking and say, oh, wow, okay, well, I hope, I pray for you. I hope that that negative energy clears from your energy field. And I, and I pray that you will no longer feel about that. Feel that about me. But I will still I will still continue to unconditionally love you. Especially if it's a family member or a close friend. That's going to be hard. But you will learn that these type of lower vibrational energies will not be part of your energetic field anymore. You will learn how to block it. You will learn how to heal it with unconditional love. You will learn how to deal with it. You don't have to accept it. It's just dealing with it. And how you deal with that is emitting that unconditional love to that person. That's why you're going through this. And when you are in union with your counterpart and you are building this empire with your counterpart, especially because there are counterparts here who are going to be very well known for the work. A lot of this energy is going to surround you. And if you are not prepared for that, you will be brought down. The devil will be like, ah, I got you. And you come crashing and burning. God does not want that for you. When you are having four of wands, a ten of pentacles life, God does not want to have you to have to deal with people coming after you for money or coming after you, you know, or or saying these derogatory things to you, or even saying things behind your back to other people saying, oh, well, you know, Jess actually got that life because she did some backhanded shit or she, whatever, whatever, whatever. Right? God does not want that. God does not want that to interfere with that blissful life that you will have with your counterpart. It's one of the reasons why we have to release all this negative energy and, and have Archangel Michael help us to um, overcome our obstacles and our challenges and the negativity. We don't want negativity surrounds us that brings us down. But that's why with this journey, you get to the point where it doesn't affect you at all. Just like it doesn't affect me. Just like how I was picking up on some of you who are watching this have these negative feelings towards me personally. And I'm not being affected. The old Jess would have been affected. It would be circulating, circulating in her mind all the time. Feeling then lowering my vibration. For what? That Jess no longer exists. This journey, my masculine was the catalyst to get me to the Jess that I am now. And I'm teaching all of you to get there. Not to be like Jess. That's not what I'm saying to embody the God within that you are too, that I am your counterpart, my counterpart, to live life with grace, with unconditional love. You will get there, but you have to release those negative energies. And you can't compare. And you just have to pray and stick it through. That's why adjustments are required. A lot of you adjustments with these lower vibrational energies need to be cleared out. Progress cannot be made when you are staying in dark energies. The guidance, the clarity that you are seeking, the life that you are seeking cannot be 
drop down to you if you stay in the dark because it's not of the light. Okay. Um, we're coming up on two hours in about 15 seconds. So I'm going to leave it here. <clears throat> if you would like to work with me, guidance with me, if you don't want a reading, if you just want a one-on-one, -on -one, I have those too where we can have a live session and we can talk about stuff. If you want to have a private conversation with me with that, we can do that. Join the Light Counterpart community to meet other people. If you have been invited to it and you're kind of fearful of joining it because, you know, well, I'm not where everyone else is or I'm afraid I'm going to get triggered, that is stepping out of your comfort zone. God wants you to step out of your comfort zone and to not get into those types of triggers, those types of energies, okay? As some of you are fearful. Seeing where everybody is. We're all here to help each other. And I talk about my own stuff to tell you what you can achieve. But it took a lot for me to get here. All of you can get here. I'm trying to guide you to get there and teaching you what I learned the hard way. I didn't have a spiritual advisor who, who did this for me. I didn't. I did it all on my own with the help of my guides. That was how I was supposed to learn. Because I got really deep into the weed to understand exactly the processes of what... Um, the processes of this type of, of journey... And what is entailed in it. And what is experienced. What is gained. What is lost. What is learned. My readings are everything that I have experienced. And I made them into chunks. So that if you are looking for a particular something. To focus on. You can have that reading. And that reading will give you the guides and the steps. I give you things to work on it's not just a reading oh hey here here are your blocks and then goodbye thank you i go above and beyond to tell you how to clear those blocks what you should do on a weekly basis on a daily basis i even go over time on my readings even though for a 30 minute reading for whatever cost it is i'll usually give you an hour when i should have charged you for the hourly rate nope i don't do that because I am not here for the money. I am here for the experience. I am here to teach. Because I am here to raise the vibration of this planet. And to help you guys to get to where God wants you to be. And when I get feedback and the, the work that I have been doing. Knowing that it is helping somebody. That is my payment. That is my joy. That is where the bliss comes from. I've always gone above and beyond in my jobs with family, with friends. I'm a very giving, loving person. But I also have to set my boundaries. That's one thing I also had to learn. So again, you're struggling. It's a lot of work. I've been working with some clients where the readings that I do for them, they bought packages and it's like, this is a lot of work so-and-so, but you can go through this. If I can do it, you can do it. That's why I set up, I've created these packages for a reason, to save you some money. I give you bonus readings and I try to make it work. There's even like a, a, an option to, to pay every two weeks for something that I implemented on my website. You know, the packages, again, they save you money. They give you a, a bonus readings. Because, again, it's not about the money. It's for me to try to get people to 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 entice them to, to, to do the work. And for me, helping you to do the work because I've already been there. I didn't have people like this, like I said, to help me with my journey. And then I even give you additional information, you know, you can email me and I say, oh, hey, you know, you're dealing with this, this is my experience. Oh, wow, well, that helps. Gives me clarity. And I don't charge for that. I build a rapport with my clients. It's not 
just reading and I'm done with you. That's not how I work. I am way more than that. But that's because I have this innate ability and I have this strong passion for helping people. I want you to get to where I'm at. I want you to get to physical sacred union with your counterpart. I wholeheartedly do. But a lot of this requires work and we can't be in lower vibrational energies. And I can't fully hold your hand either. But I am there for you when you need me. I'm always there for everybody. And I've provided, yes, can't be there like 24-7 necessarily because I do have my life. Again, the boundaries. But I do this. This is part of my mission. And I don't do what most other readers do. I'm not here to get the views. I'm not here to get monetized. I've said this before. Focus, focus. It's a tough journey. You focus on doing one thing. It helps you make progress. Because if I bombarded you with everything that you have to learn, it would make you go crazy probably. It would be overwhelming. We don't want to be overwhelmed. And if you just heed the guidance here, if you want more specifics on honing in on exactly what's going on in your connection, that's where the personal readings come in. You want to book several packages to help you with healing or, or getting, you know, focusing on your, your counterpart connection, seeing where your connection is right now and understanding the energies and what needs to be healed, what needs to be fixed, where you're at in your contract. There's that too. Coupled with everything else, it gives you a better, um, what's the word? Uh, not timeline. It's like giving you step-by-step -step ways on how to better navigate your journey, especially if you're struggling. I've already done all the hard work. And a lot of it I do here for free, <laughs> right? And when you work with me, it's a lot more entailed. And I make sure you are making progress because I'm always rooting for my clients. I always am. So anyway. I don't know why I went off on that because this is like might be my longest reading ever. <laughs> um, maybe not. I think I've done channel letters that are longer than this. Yeah. Anyway, there's a reason why my guys wanted me to say all of that stuff. But at the end of the day, I do wish the best for all of you. So much can be achieved here but it does require a whole hell of a lot of work. And you're gonna be so grateful. You will be grateful when you put all that other crap aside and you give thanks to God for this connection, for your masculine, for your feminine. You're gonna be so grateful that you went through this because the life you're going to be live is gonna be the life that everyone else is going to want to live to. And a lot of them will not get there. They just won't. It's not that I don't have any hope or faith for them. It, they just won't. I already foresee it. For you're watching this right now. That is not your destiny. God's really going to be pushing you to get to your bliss. Okay. So again, I got the packages, and the personal reading stuff, links in the description box below if you're interested if you have any questions about them shoot me an email the email is there too okay 
have any questions about anything, don't be afraid to contact me. I don't bite, obviously. I don't. So with that, I'm going to, I'm going to conclude this reading, finally. <laughs> Thank you so very much if you're still here for watching this video. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to this channel to support it, to show your love. Love creates more love. And not only does it support me, but it supports everybody else who is watching these videos. Illuminate that thumbs up button. I would greatly appreciate it. I send you, I wish you the best to hate always. I send you so, so much love. I really do. And I hope I illuminated your well-being today on your light counterpart journey. Again, this is Jess from Capella Wellness. Starry out.